Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to increase Premiere Pro performance and you can do it in less than a few seconds. Home sweet home. What do you guys think about the new setup? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, my name is Tyler White and here on this channel I teach video editing tutorials and I also have a background about 8 years of editing video. So if that's something that you're into, definitely consider subscribing and become a part of the team today. Also, while you're at it, make sure you hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out on any videos that we post here. Also, Happy New Year. Hopefully 2019's got big things in store for us, but let's get right into the video. All right, so once you have Premiere Pro open up, you can go over to Premiere Pro CC or File if you're on Windows. Go down to Preferences and then Media Catch. Then once that opens up, you'll go over to Delete Unused. And what that's going to do is delete the catch files that Premiere creates automatically whenever we import files or we're working inside of Premiere Pro. And then I'll just go down here and uh, automatically delete them. Uh, that's your personal preference. But what this does is it pretty much gets rid of the things that are the leading cause of most sluggish behavior that you're going to have inside of Premiere Pro. Did this process help speed up your performance in Premiere Pro? Let me know in the comments below. Some of the best tips and conversation is happening in the comments section. So definitely engage down there and be a part of this community. All right, that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, slap a like on it because that lets me know these videos are helpful. And don't forget to subscribe because we got more videos like this coming soon. Also, let me know in the comments section what future videos you guys wanna see. Happy 2019, guys. Thank you guys so much again. Keep killing it in your videos and I'll see you in the next one.